doing a with the you family here so this is something that i've been really um excited to get it did take some time to come in the mail uh and i'm not sure if i'm saying the name right but we're gonna unbox the circle so this is a water bottle that has different um flavor cartridges that uh come in a variety of flavors um, some of them, uh, well, actually all of them are sugar-free, but some have additional things, uh, like they have an energy one, they have coffee flavors, which is my favorite, um, and lots of fruit flavors. So let's open this bad boy and see what we got. So the boxing, you know, just typical, um, didn't seem to have any problems with it. Uh, it did send me notifications to let me know when it was coming. Now, there's a couple of different bottle options that you could get, um, but what I'll do is link it down below so that you can see they have starter kits. Uh, I opted for the metal, which, I mean, come on guys, this is really nice. It does come in a couple, couple different colors. They had uh, blue, orange, and I'm trying to remember. I think it was just blue and orange, but. Uh, so here's the bottle. It's a 32 ounce bottle. Um, and it does say hand wash only. The inside of it. Here's the cap. I opted, so there is an option actually where you can change this color of the band um, for the cap. So I opted for blue, but you could do blue, orange, and I think black was an option also. They do also have a plastic bottle, which is cheaper. Uh, it is smaller in ounce size uh, from what I remember, um, but this is like, I'm very excited. So this screws on just like that, looks really nice. Now here's the flavors. Okay, so um, I got a couple of different flavors. This, let me just kind of put them out here. I got a brew sip, which I'm really excited about that one. So the brew sips are actually the coffee flavored ones. This one's caramel iced coffee. Um, and again, all of these do have uh, no sugar, but this does have caffeine in it. So if you're sensitive to caffeine, just be careful with that. Um, they also do have uh, these flavors that are called life, oh no, pure sips. So the Pure Sip is actually not sweetened at all. This is a cucumber flavor, so I'm assuming it's gonna taste just like uh, water infused with cucumber, but we'll see. I did also get a watermelon flavor because for some reason lately, I don't know, watermelon in me is like, yes. Uh, I got the Fit Sip. Uh, so the Fit Sip actually has electrolytes in it as well. For this one here, I think that is white cherry. So this has electrolytes in it. We got the Life Sip, which has some vitamins added into it. This is a fruit punch flavor. I also got a peach mango for the Life Sip. Um, I got a Tea Sip, which is a peach tea. Again, no sugar, no calories at all. So all of these beverages are actually no calories, no sugar. So that's pretty good. Uh, the last one I got to try was an energy one and it's called a Ghost Sip. Again, caffeinated. This is grape. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill up my water bottle with some ice and water and I'll be back to test it out. Which one should we try first? Hmm. This is data behind the camera. 
wifey is letting me try it with her. I think we should go with the one that probably won't taste the best, even though I like that combination. Let's do the cucumber. Okay. Let's do it. We like cucumber water, so this is, it'll be a good test. Okay. So got my bottle filled up, put some ice water in there. Um, just want to show the nutritional, so the nutrition facts, zero calories, uh, no salt, no carbs, no sugar, no, pr there's not one single thing in here except for hopefully flavor. So we shall see. Um, ingredients, filtered water, natural flavors, you know, the basic stuff. Okay. All right. So let's open this up. So it actually smells like cucumber. Um, this is what it looks like. Wow. Smell that? It really does smell like yeah, fresh so cucumber. It smells like cucumber. Um, cool. There's like this little gauge here. So that's how you, when you have it put in here, I guess what you do is uh, turn it to a number and that adjusts your flavor. And then you open it like this. So let's get this put in. Here. Okay, so you drop that in there, you screw that on. Uh, yeah, so there's different flavor intensities. You can't really see the numbers, but right here you just twist and you adjust the flavor. So with everyone else I've seen, they start at number four. So I'm gonna start at a number four and we'll just work our way up from there. Okay, so make sure that's on that. I'm going to screw this on here. Oh, so you're not putting powder in the water? No. It comes right through here. Oh, yeah, sweet. that's what that cartridge is. So you can actually swap out your cartridge. Let's say we get tired of the cucumber and want to try something else. Swap it out. Hmm. Okay? Yeah. All right, so let's open this up. It looks pretty standard. And let's go for the sip. And we're at a four. Okay. Good. So I will tell you, it does taste like cucumber water. I'm gonna let my husband try, but that's at a four. And I think a four is a good starting level. It tastes like there's fresh cucumber in there. Pretty good. Sorry for the slurp sound. Right. Oh, it's actually really light. Yeah. But it tastes like what it's supposed to be. Yeah. It doesn't have an aftertaste at all. Um, I think it's pretty good. So what would be the point of doing that instead of just putting fresh cucumber slices in water and letting it sit? I mean, I personally don't like my cucumbers to sit in the water for too long. Um, I think I like with this that I can actually swap out my flavors whenever I want to. I really want to try this coffee one now that I know the cucumber one tastes so good. So let's do that. I don't even think I need to do that. Oh, so all you do is put this back. Yeah, definitely save that one. I'll drink that one with lunch. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. and, and I think they also had a lemon and orange. That's the pure sip, which just takes like infused water. Let's try this caramel iced coffee. Okay, so this is the brew sip. And again, this has zero nothing. So uh, compared to this, so actually let, let me come back. So this actually does have one gram of carbs per serving. And there's about 13 servings in this entire package. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you. So the price difference between let's say Starbucks, Duncan, whatever. These are about three bucks. Wow. Yeah. And once so the serving size is 1.5. Um, and that was, is what it's saying. 
So for the rest of 13. that, for the rest of us who are not nurses. It, well, you'd have to, <laughs> I'd have to do the, <laughs> the calculation on that. So. I'll put it in the description. All right. So let's go back to a four. And this is the caramel iced coffee. Okay, let's sip. So... <laughs> it tastes like iced coffee. I only changed the intensity to a six. It's kind of sweet. It's sweet. Let me see. And if you're saying it's sweet, it's got to be pretty sweet. I think the four was probably better. It's not bad. Okay. It does have an aftertaste. A little bit um it's not bad but it doesn't taste like like an iced coffee right so i think i'm trying to compare it to an actual iced coffee again it's not bad um i thought i had ordered a regular coffee one because they do have a regular coffee one but i think i might want to try that one and see how that goes uh, but definitely looking forward to trying the rest of these. I'm going to let my husband try this. I don't know if he's going to, I already know he's, <laughs> I already know what he's probably going to say. Did I turn it down to four? I think I did. Holy moly. That's sweet. Yeah. It's, However, um, it's I think it bad. tastes really good. It's a good which alternative. Which is surprising because I don't usually like stuff that doesn't have real sugar in it. Let me try a three. It doesn't have the... The sugar-free aftertaste. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, three is not sweet enough. Four is a little too sweet. So maybe... I think it would actually taste good with milk. I don't know if this is suitable for milk. but oh, Or almond milk. I think it's the point is you're drinking more water. So honestly... Oh, gotcha. So for that scale, purpose, yeah. I, I would definitely sip that throughout the morning. I wouldn't replace my coffee with it, but I would also good. sip on this because it's a, like compared to other no calorie sugar-free options. Mm -hmm. um, again, this is not carb free, but it's one gram of carbs per serving. It I tastes think it's similar a good... to a vanilla uh, Starbucks latte that you find, I think in the store, like at a gas station that you shake up. Yeah. So compared to $5 for one of those, it's or good. this, I mean, it's, it's not good. Bad. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad for sure. All right, guys. One more. Try one of the fruit ones. One more. Okay. Which one should we try? I personally don't like grape. Um, I think you're right. Let's do the watermelon. Do you we, try we've the been. Tea? No, let's or do the, the watermelon. Okay. We we've really been on kind of a watermelon flavor kick lately. All right. So let's try the watermelon. Okay. So this one here. Zero everything. Nothing to it. Don't get me wrong. This is definitely a good way to get your water in. So I'm going to put this to a four as a starting point. But just so you know, this goes all the way up to a nine. So... We're going to start at a four. Let's see how this goes. You're smiling. I like that one. I would probably put the, uh, I'll let you keep it at a four, but I would probably put that one up just a little bit, but it tastes really good. Oh yeah. Four is perfect for me. Yeah. Wow. That one <clears throat> is great. I would drink that all day long. It kind of tastes like the watermelon Jolly Rancher. Mm hmm. Six is too much. And if you like the watermelon bubbly carbonated uh, seltzer, it tastes a little bit like that, just a little bit sweeter on a number four. I think I would keep it at a four or five. But it does taste like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. So. so what do you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All yeah. right. 
Sabrina's pretty good. honest review. Pretty, pretty good. I'm looking forward to trying the tea, but anyways, we're going to link it down below. So if you think you want to try one of these, they have lots of starter kit options. Um, these pack, these packages are fairly inexpensive. Um, I'm going to try drinking this for a couple of days. Uh, just try and, you know, test it all out and I will let you know what I think. Bye. Bye everybody.